Let's see if that's working. Great, that's working. We'll go back to recording. There we go. I'll share my screen. Um, so, hi everybody. Um, this is the Sequential Artist Workshop. Um, and the Friday night, free Friday night workshops that we took over from the Believer. Um, so we call it, we believe in comics. Um, if you're new here, we're a nonprofit. Uh, we're a nonprofit school and community. You can find out a lot more at sawcomics.org. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we've got lots of courses. We've got lots of community. We've got some courses coming up. The next Believer workshop will be uh, Stefan Gruber. I don't know what he's, or I don't know what they're going to call it, um, but Stefan's one of my favorite artists. It's going to be really wonderful. A couple slots left in Leela Corman's April mentoring group. Um, and the graphic novel program, the six month graphic novel program, we're starting to make some announcements about it. It's coming in um, June through November. Um, I'll mention that in a, a, a little more in a little moment. Uh, we've got ongoing groups like the Soft Flow and Publish group and the Graphic Memoir group. Um, free courses come with a lot of those groups and memberships like these. Um, the graphic novel intensive coming up has a lot of materials. We go through all sorts of, um, the whole system of starting with an idea and coming up with some format ideas and then a story and go as long as we can for four or five months and make the thing and, uh, work, develop a plan for finishing and printing and sharing. And there's a lot of community that happens there. It's a really great thing. Um, and so that's happening in June and you'll be hearing more about that. Um, share anything you do tonight uh, with a hashtag Friday Night Comics and tag us at Comics Workshop. You can do that you know, on Instagram or anything like that. Um, you can also come over to the members.sawcomics.org website and share there. Um, we thrive on donations and tuition. So if you want to help out, um, I'll be posting some of this in the chat so you can keep your eyes peeled for that. So no, nothing inappropriate, please. I think you know what that means. Um, enjoy. And also, if you're coming from um, uh, Eventbrite, you might want to look for this link that says open in Zoom because certain there are certain um, uh, interface things that are a little bit challenging we found. Um, especially at the end when we want people to share and raise their Zoom hand. Sometimes people have a, a trouble with that um, if they're doing it through Eventbrite. So if that's a problem, you might want to switch to Zoom now. It's pretty, pretty fast. Anyway, I will stop sharing and we'll bring it over to Aaron Williams. Aaron is somewhere on my grid <laughs> and I am going to... There you are, that helped. And I'm gonna spotlight you. So you're getting it big for everybody. There we go. Um, and Aaron, what's gonna happen is, is um, I'm gonna blink out of existence for a moment or for the duration, but I'll, I'll be in the chat helping people if they need it. And if you need me, just just holler, but my screen's gonna go dark. And um, and that's really it. So please please tell us about anything and everything and and, and give us a cool workshop about anxiety and um, and just holler if you need anything. I'm still Thank here. you. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. So just bear with me one second. Um, let me do this. All right, can everybody see this? Deck? Yep. Great. Um, this is me. Um, <clears throat> I might currently be anxious. Nobody knows. All right. Um, and I want to give a special shout out before we start to my daughter, Lucy, who is 
live streaming from downstairs. And I know she's going to make really awesome drawings. She doesn't want to share them, but hi, Lucy. Okay. So um, who am I? I'm an author and illustrator and um, hustler and uh, I write books and make comics and um, I do it full time now um, until 2019. I worked in healthcare actually and I, I did healthcare disparities research um, which informs some of the, the current work that I'm doing. Um, but um, mainly I'm the author of of these, the big fat, the big activity book series, which is down here, um, notably the big activity book for anxious people. And the, we just released a kid's version, the everybody gets anxious activity book, which um, is so near and dear to my heart because I have a seven year old daughter, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. And um, it's just been like a hell of a few heck of a few years, I think, for all of us, kids, adults, sort of everybody. Um, and uh, the, the aim of, of these books is to sort of, um, I don't know, they're sort of fun and relatable and, you know, they allow you to, to draw things and put them in dumpster fires, um, which is sort of how we all feel probably. Um, and then and I co-wrote the, the big activity book series with Jordan Reed, who might be on here as well. Um, so yeah, the, these are all like available now. This is the kids book. You can see everything up there. I don't even know if you can see my tiny little face in the screen, very screen share. Commute is my graphic novel, which came out in 2019 with Abrams, um, comic arts. And it is an illustrated memoir of female shame. And it is not recommended for children. <laughs> it's about, um, you know, adventures in men and, and alcoholism frankly. And, um, and then I have a, a comic coming out in a, in a McSweeney's anthology edited by Shelley Oria called I Know It's Best For You that comes out, I think, in May. Um, and that's a comic about how white women historically and presently uh, hinder reproductive justice for Black women and women of color, Black women in particular. Um, so that's sort of more of the, the other kind of work that I do. And then freelance stuff I've done for MoMA Magazine, um, Columbia University's Health and Humanities Journal, Synapsis, Salon, um, The Believer, RIP, um, other places like that. Um, but anyone who's in this like comics adjacent industry full time, I'm sure some of you are, know that it's a hustle. So this is my hustle. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to do three different prompts, and then I'm going to leave a lot of time for sharing at the end. Is, that's my goal. Um, so the first prompt is I want you to draw three things that make you anxious. Um, they can be as esoteric as you want. Um, it could be, you know, this workshop, for example, raising my hand. Um, Ted Cruz, um, your, your pencil just broke and you're worried that you might miss something if you go get a new pencil and you can't find your pencil sharpener and your eraser is worn down and you made the wrong line, or it could be airplane turbulence. Um, let's not talk about the news, but have you seen it? Um, Kanye West on social media is another thing that's giving a lot of people a headache. Um, a zombie apocalypse, maybe, could happen. Um, so I'm gonna give everybody a few minutes to just do some quick drawings of three things that make you anxious. And I'm gonna mute myself. And we're all gonna go draw. Aaron, how long should we plan for this particular part? Well, that's a great question, Tom. Really? Um, let's, <laughs> let's say, um, 
I want to leave a lot of time for like the final drawing. So these are just going to be some sketches. So let's say five minutes for just three things. We're just getting them out. We're going to put it all together later. Well, thanks. And for anyone that's not familiar with what anxiety is, it's kind of like being worried. <laughs> what are you, what are you worried about? What makes you um, afraid?
think I just spoiled <clears throat> the final activity. Is, is everybody feel good about where they are now? We're just doing quick sketches. Okay. I didn't, nobody said yes, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. Are we supposed to feel good or less, less bad? Well, we're gonna <laughs> feel good now. <laughs> Cue the puppies and blankets and warm snuggles. What makes you feel safe? Is it this workshop? Just wondering. Is it Charlene, your baby stuffed tiger from when you were a newborn that you still snuggle even though it smells like trash? Is it Doritos? <laughs> I love Doritos. Um, drugs, prescription, obviously. Not living in the proximity of rabid hyenas. That's comforting. Um, is it Glennon Doyle's Instagram account? There's no shame. <laughs> we're all safe here. We're all friends. Or is it the wooden stake that I keep under my pillow? Do you have one? Might be a good idea. <laughs> so just um, erase the last three things you drew by, well, don't actually erase them, leave them. But, but now just sketch out a few different things, let's say three that make you feel safe and cozy and happy when you are anxious. And we'll give another few minutes, maybe five, to draw the cozy things.
Okay, we'll give it one more minute. Hope everybody's feeling warm and cozy now. Let me turn up the space heater a little bit. When you were talking about saw time, I wished I had known about it before I wrote my graphic novel because I had no idea what I was doing. And I could have really used a course like yours. It sounds like you did fine. I mean, it's a pretty well lauded book. I, I haven't got a copy of it yet. Well, I, yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> it doesn't have any panels in it because I I didn't know how to do it. Like I just, it's just funny. I mean, people ask me like on panels and stuff why it looks so different. And I was like, well, I just really didn't know. <laughs> That's something to, to be proud of, I think. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to move on from feeling safe. Let's go back. Let's go back to being anxious. Just kidding. What we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to do this for 15 minutes. So you can really develop a drawing in this, in this last part, maybe 10, I don't know, is 15 minutes too long, Tom? Um, depends on what we're doing. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. We're going to draw a safe <laughs> thing, battling an anxious thing and winning. It doesn't have to mean battling. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be violent because there's children on here, but for example, if your comforting thing was Doritos, like mine, Cool Ranch specifically, and your anxious thing was um, Ted Cruz talking about the anti-racist baby books in the Senate the other day, then your battle might look something like this. Um, so I encourage you to develop more of a drawing where you choose one of the things that are cozy and put it head to head against the thing that makes you anxious. So for me, that might mean um, hot spaghetti battling um, nuclear war. Give me anything. Um, and then we'll leave lots of time for everybody to share. And um, we can all just try not to give each other a panic attack.
are we doing on time, Aaron? I think we're doing great on time, Tom. Is everybody is everybody done or a few more minutes? A few more minutes. More time. Okay. We can definitely do that, Tom. We're ahead of schedule, right? Yeah, doing great. All right, how are we doing, everyone? <clears throat> Good. We can start sharing, and anyone who wants to continue working on their drawing, of course, is welcome to. Um, what I'll do, um, oh, nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what I'll do, Aaron, um, would you mind locating on your in your reactions down below the raise hand and then um, raise your hand? I, I have the authors do that because it sort of pushes them to the beginning of the grid and it keeps them there. And then do you see it? It's usually under reactions, a little happy face on the bottom. Oh, I'll do mine. Oh, look. We ah, should I stop <laughs> sharing my screen? Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Oh my god, my tech support is downstairs. That's Lucy? No, that's my husband. <laughs> okay, that's you, good. And now okay. I see reactions. Okay. Uh, perfect. Yeah, just raise it. Raise that, my that, way you just, that way you won't get lost in the shuffle. 
as people raise their hands. So what I'll do is I'll just spotlight people and we can look at their uh, what they did, okay? And, and we'll start with Charlie and then go to Emma and then Jasmine slash River, Brooklyn, Kari, and- Oh, I'm so excited to see everybody stop. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is, uh, we'll start with Charlie. Oh, I think they disappeared on me. Oh, there we go. Yep. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm am I unmuted yes I'm Katie it says Charlie that's my son oh. because that's what happens you know when you share a zoom account um so for my anxious things I had just a little like screenshot of my iPhone going off at 4 30 in the morning and then the um commute for 15 minutes with my child in the back seat which is struggle um, versus tomorrow morning, waking up at 945 and doing some art and also something that is cozy. Our family is sort of, um, obsessed with puppets for better or worse. So <laughs> that's a thing. Um, so what I came up with is a puppet driving my son to school <laughs> and that is the battle. <laughs> Because he would love that, and I would love that too. Because maybe I could sleep in. <laughs> love it, love it. Great. We'll go to Emma next. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Um, first off, if anybody's looking at my cat, this is Mr. Noodles. Um, Hi, Mr. I'm, Noodles. I just finished up a comic zine about him, so he's like the first thing on my mind. He also always makes me feel very cozy. Um, and my friends and I have this joke. I have a lot of financial anxiety about like not being able to pay my bills because I'm a millennial and I don't get paid enough to work. And we joke about my fear being that I would not be able to afford a doctor and I'd have to go see like a weird rat doctor and he would like not provide me with adequate medical care. So this is my cat, uh, Mr. Noodles, beating up the rat doctor. <laughs> and uh, he's beating me up right now because he wants me to pet him. So, you know. Oh, I love it. Awesome. We'll go to the duo of Jasmine and River next. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. You want to go first? Go ahead. Sure. So my anxious things are, um, you know, this workshop, because I'm scared everyone is going to think, oh, that boy is a terrible artist. Then we got Scream, because my pants are broke. <laughs> And then scream because I got banned from Roblox, which is one of my favorite video games ever. <laughs> and then there's more. My cozy stuff. One minute. All right. Here we got me in a dark hallway. And I don't know why, but whenever I'm in a dark hallway and think there's monsters, I just randomly say, shut up. <laughs> and it makes <laughs> me feel better. <laughs> and then we have water. I don't know why, but it makes me feel good. And then, you know, me under my blanket. Yeah. And then my, you know, soft thing versus anxious thing. So here we have my, um, you know, shut up thing versus the computer he banned me from Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. And I think you're an amazing artist, River. Thank really you. good stuff. Uh, my anxious things were, um, oh, he wasn't really banned. That's just something that he's scared of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my anxious things are just being overwhelmed with just having so many things to do, um, uh, time, either uh, being late or somebody who's being late to see me, and then just a little bit of social anxiety, this first time being around people. And my cozy stuff, things that make me feel safe, cuddling river. <laughs> Uh, a nice warm shower and a cup of tea with chocolate and Netflix with a fuzzy blanket on top. <laughs> the safe versus the anxiety. I did a shower melting the time away. 
with a little rubber ducky for humor. <laughs> so great. Love it. Well, we'll go to Brooklyn next. Here we go. Oops, I think you're oh. muted. Oh, now I'm unmuted. Um, hi. Uh, so for my anxious things, um, I drew my own art and um and sharing it and the fact I share it. Um, my second thing that made me anxious was um people and loud things and people being loud. Um, and then um the last one was the world falling apart before my very eyes. So this is like people just like making the world implode and then like there's an alien watching like come on what are you doing and then um three things that uh comfort me is that um the vastness of time and space it's like comforting that like we're like very small oops brooklyn's freezing we might have to move on and then maybe come back um i oh. took inspiration from miss aaron on this one well, my stuffed animals, I find them very enjoyable. Sorry, it's really bad. Um, and then uh, hummus is another comforting thing. I just really like hummus. Um, so for the big battle, I, I drew um, hummus against people, like a, a crowd of people, <laughs> like just feeding them hummus. So then they'll. Be quiet because they're all eating. And then glorious silence as a result. And and just them all happy about hummus. So that's just brilliant. Thanks, Brooklyn. Um, we'll go to Kari next. Let's see. You even pronounced the name right. I'm impressed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let this get get into focus here. Okay, so things that I have anxiety about. I have suffer from insomnia. So that's me not sleeping, and I think as a result. This is my drain with my hair falling out. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. And then this one is me falling out of shape. Although I'm sitting on the couch drinking wine and popcorn. That doesn't really look bad. So I live a pretty <laughs> charmed life, I have to admit. So what gives me comfort? Well, journaling. And you can see my journaling has some pictures in it. I love that. And then this is me in the morning doing my three card tarot reading. And then I also love the sunrise over Lake Michigan. That gives me a lot of comfort. So I decided to put the, the insomnia and the sun together. And there's the sun. Even though it's rising to make, greet the day, it's closing my eyelids and whispering, shh. And then there you see, uh, you see me sawing wood because I am fast asleep. And this was a wonderful exercise. Thank you, Erin. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. So thoughtful. Well, we'll go to Cassie next. There we go. Hi. Okay. So in my anxieties, first I have um, me realizing that I'm on a trip and I forgot a lot of important things. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I have being late. I hate being late. Um, and fear of missing out. It's me looking at everyone having a good time and me not being included. So things that give me comfort are hugs from tall men, mm -hmm. um, romantic comedies, and dogs. So uh, here's me on a flying dog so that I'll never be late again. Because how <laughs> could you be late if you had a flying dog who let you ride him? Oh my God. I love it. Can I get that? Let me get that tattooed somewhere on my body. Oh, yes. You hereby have my permission. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, we'll need Zozie to come on screen in order to spotlight them. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Um, hi. So. I have two separate pages. The first one is the three things I'm afraid of. The first thing I'm afraid of is leaving my lunch at home because I'm always scared that that'll happen. I often leave stuff that I need at home when I go to school. It's very, very sad. And then there's sleeping in a dark room alone. I've had that fear. I don't know, ever since I read this, this horrible, horrible book. Um, 
And then my last fear is the fear of mummies, which also came from that horrible, horrible book. Um, and the three things that make me feel safe is Baby Yoda, um, my bed, and apples. And then here's a picture of just Baby Yoda standing there doing nothing. And then a mummy says, hey, you're very cute. <laughs> so good. Awesome. Thanks, Ozzy. Really uh, cool. Paulo. Let's see if Paulo wants to come on. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, but. Oh, I order, think I have to. Yeah, you got to go on screen in order to for us to see you. Um, how do I? I'm looking for. Oh, there's the camera. Can you see my screen? Mm, no. You can't? Um, I'm on, I guess I'm on two devices here. Let me, let me close one up. Can you see my screen now? Nope. nope. <laughs> huh. We went through this once before, right? Yeah, no. here. Are I'm, you on uh, digital pops? Yeah, I'm digital yeah. pops. It's uh, d down the line, Tom, from the hands up. Huh? Uh, digital pops. Can you see me? Um, should we go to Jackie and let Paula figure this out? Because I, um, let's do that. Uh, okay. okay, Jackie, there we go. Hi, Jackie. Hi, great to see you at this workshop. So uh, my quick anxiety things are um, my, what's gonna happen to my uh, autistic teenager when she is 22 years old. Um, did I actually hit that guy on a bicycle driving home last night? I think it was just a pothole. And oh, I am unlovable. Those are my three of my anxieties. And three of my comfort things are her hubby, which we're using his Radio Shack t shirt, and um, cartoons. I didn't try to duplicate back and back and bug funny because that would be plagiarizing or not. I don't want to get sued by Warner Your Brothers. Your voice is cutting off. And then here is um, me with high-end beauty products. Thanks, Mom. Those are some comforting things. And so what I did was I drew cartoons sort of surra surrounding my adult daughter with love. Like here she is as an adult with, you know, mortarboard, meaning she's graduated high school. And um, I just drew like random comics and cartoons kind of looking out after her. That's beautiful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. I'm muted. We'll go to Janine next. And I, let's see. There we go. Great. Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, so Three things that, let's see here. Three things that make me anxious. It's that's very blurry or something. The light is weird. Um, my father being cranky. Uh, thinking about driving and driving, though not in that order necessarily. Emotional eating. Makes me anxious to eat from emotion. And then three, woo, stuff's falling out of my journal. Three things that are soothing are nature walks. It's supposed to be like a little path through the trees and then meditating and then reading comics. And then this is me meditating and conquering the food. I don't know what this blue gelatinous glob is on my plate, but it says, I listen inside and eat slowly and lovingly. And then I'm oming and there's a little incense burner here with my clappers for the meditating. So, thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, I think I saw Paulo over there under digital pop. So let's see if we can bring that over. And then, yeah. uh, there we go. And then a couple more. Okay, can you? Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. 
Yeah, so I guess the anxiety I have is like privacy issues and like Big Brother watching and tracking mm. everybody. Um, that's me going to an office job and being indoors all day. It's like kind of anxiety. And that's me at 4.30 in the morning, like still not falling asleep and having to go to this place in the morning. <laughs> and then things that calm me down is like nature, like rivers, streams, uh, sunlight, um, and corn tortillas. So I make corn tortillas every day by hand. Um, and they make me feel good. And just like a comforting kiss on the forehead or something would be nice. And then there's corn destroying <laughs> surveillance and everybody dropping their phone and looking away for a little bit. And the sun's like, yeah, <laughs> nature. Maybe the corn yeah. and the hummus should like team up. <laughs> right. Just <laughs> fix everything. That's brilliant. Awesome. Cool. We'll go to Becky next. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. So, um, so some of the things that I do that make me anxious, um, my sister has brain metastases, so that makes me anxious. Um, sometimes I feel dumb, like I don't know anything and that makes me feel anxious. And I'm also an open water swimmer. And sometimes I'm swimming alone at night in the dark and there's sea lions. So that is a little anxiety provoking. Um, some other things, things that make me feel comfort is some nice tea with milk and honey, um, my slippers, which I'm actually wearing right now. I won't show you. And that's my husband who makes me dinner a lot. So that's really nice. And, um, the big battle, uh, another sort of meta meta issue here is, um, watercolors make me a little anxious. So I decided to use some watercolors. So the uh, blue wool slippers came and breathed fire at that poor little sea lion who's looking very defeated by it. Um, anyway, that's my comic. <laughs> Thank you. Love it. Remember that next time you're in the water, the slipper may come out of nowhere and save you. There we go. Okay. Hello. So these are the things I did for the anxiety when people are, um, when people talk over each other, that really gives me anxiety. Um, dark woods and green water. <laughs> and then some of the good things were my dog, art supplies, pens are friends, mm -hmm. and big trees. And then for the battle, I didn't, I was going to draw cake, but I just, obviously I just had cake on the mind. I don't know. Anyway, so the cake is battling the people who talk over each other and they've stuffed their faces with cake and they can't talk anymore. So problem solved. <laughs> Thank I you. It. Awesome. I think we're going to down that next. Here we go. Hi. So I was a bit late. I, I guess I'd, I'll just talk over the things that makes me feel safe is my cats. They were actually covering the drawing pad and then dancing and then the clown. Um, every time I can tap into that clown, everything really, nothing really matters. Everything becomes play. And the things that makes me feel anxious is feeling that I'm not lovable or um, not doing anything, ironically, makes me feel anxious sometimes because there's that pressure to do something. Emotional eating as well. So I was thinking of my cat, she was actually posing, me, posing for me and cuddling to this voice that says I'm not loud and yeah, she's just cuddling her. Thank you. I'd also like to note that we all, all of us have the same fears, except I haven't thought about mummies in a while, but now that I do think about mummies, you know. Cool. Thanks. Um, I've got Kathy next. Here we go. I, uh, I have drawings of like too much thyroid medication, which is what's going on right now. So a little bit of sketchiness. Uh, she died poor and unhappy. 
I worry about my dog who's 13 uh, dying all the time and uh, Supreme Court hearings. So those are my anxieties today. And so then uh, the stuff that makes me feel safe, my dog well, looking out my window, my partner Ramona, grandma's buttermilk pancakes, kick-ass feminist sci-fi. Um, and uh, so I decided just to resurrect my dog, like have my dog claim it. So, so I just did this simple little dog taking care of my grave, so. It's beautiful, thank you so much. I, I personally drew, um, well, don't, don't spotlight me, but I drew <laughs> spaghetti and meatballs falling on a coffin, so. Ooh, see, there we go. Yeah. All right, we'll go to Michael. Yeah. There's Michael. Um, I was inspired by uh, Aaron's drawing of Ted Cruz. So I did a variation. This is uh, conquering modern anxiety induced by Senate hearings. So <laughs> yeah. down below, you see this is a senatorial finger designed for wagging uh, disapprovingly at public hearings. And, and then it's conquered by a heavyweight comforter that is <laughs> capable of flying through the air and blanketing anything. So <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Oh, I anyway, love that. Thanks for the inspiration. So good. Is there anything better than a weighted blanket? Exactly. No. I agree. Okay, Susan, how are you? Here we go. I'm good. I think it's at least as interesting how many similarities there are in what comforts us, right? So my anxious things were the scale and large Zoom meetings, and then the voice that says, no good, you're, you're a waste of time, et cetera. The things that make me feel safe are my bicycle. I am powerful on my bicycle. The irises in my yard, sea salt covered dark, um, dark chocolate caramels, mm -hmm. an apple, my cat, and my morning journaling with my iPad. So my kick-ass is my cat is going to ride that bicycle and run over the woman with all of the voices. Nice. Yes. We hate her. We all have we her. do. My cat's <laughs> going to get her. <laughs> all these cats and the hummus. Yeah. And the tortillas. Uh, okay. Going to Jane next. Um, so the, the uh, three things that made me anxious. Whoops, can you can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Are uh, angry, threatening people, uncertainty, not knowing what to do, and uh, doing the wrong thing. Uh, the three things that make me feel safe are running away. Locking my door and taking deep breaths. <laughs> so, uh, in facing my anxiety, I uh, face the threatening, screaming people with uh, a calm, meditative boom and thinking pretty thoughts. <laughs> it's beautiful. Nice. All right, going to Vicky next. Here we go. Oh, I think you're muted. All right, so that's not gonna work. Let me, sorry, let me do this real quick. Um, okay, so the things that make me anxious are red lights, fleas and ticks, and my inbox. Mm. And the three things that bring me comfort are sleeping in my tent, dark movie theaters and the forest. Hmm. And so I had, if I had known that people swim at night with sea creatures, I would have added that to my <laughs> list. I think I'm gonna dream about that tonight. Um, but so I drew my tent turning the red, all the red lights green. Thank you. 
Beautiful. Okay, go to Sophia next. Let's see. Here we go. Hi. Hi. So we're calling from Australia. This is my sister Hi. Natalia and my son Leon. We've each done a couple of things. We'll be quick. Should I go first? Yeah, you go. Okay, anxious things for me are the future. Um, you haven't done your taxes yet on my computer and people, <laughs> anyone being offended or upset at something I've done. Leon's drawn some ghosts and what else did you draw? You have to show um, it up here. And I've drawn this uh, a, a zombie and the zombie's down there and she's imagining that she's half zombie, half ghost. And then some things that um, are comforting is reading in bed, comedy, I'm calling this, and then hugging you, Leon. <laughs> and then um, for me, I did this um, TV representing comedy, defeating the future and saying, just relax. And then Natalia. Hi, thank you for running this workshop. It's really fun. Um, so I have my three anxieties. I'm surprised there's a lot of green. This is the emergency vet with my very small and strange looking cat. Called uh, Bonnie. Called Bonnie, yes. Um, this is uh, waiting on that text reply through WhatsApp and the dots. Um, and this is being alone forever. Um, and the three things that comfort me are my PlayStation my bed slash sanctuary and being on the right medication. Mm. Uh, and yeah, we have a video game. Yes, my phone, where I don't know how many of you are familiar with this on WhatsApp, where you can mute for eight hours one day or one week, which is great. Um, and also my phone's been unplugged, which my cats like to actually do. They think it's very funny when I'm trying to charge my phone, which is on very low battery. Um, and the PlayStation's plugged in instead. And that same strange little cat, for some reason, thinks that the PlayStation is another cat. So she licks it and purrs and sits on it <laughs> um, because I guess it vibrates and is warm. So <laughs> she's defeated the phone anxiety by unplugging it and we're choosing the PlayStation instead. Thank you. Love it. Sophia's next book is going to be a graphic novel, right, Sophia? <laughs> <laughs> She's an amazing uh, memoirist, novelist. You should all go read her books. Awesome. Thank you. Sarah will be our last one. And um, if you haven't seen Susan Mark's uh, Zoom link for a sort of after party, please look for that in the chat. Uh, here we go. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, these are my anxieties at this one uh, when I don't know what tool to use. And this one is, you know, thinking uh, I might be too dumb to pursue a career or, you know, get to anywhere other than where I am now. And the last one is uh, constantly comparing myself to others. And uh, what makes me feel calm is uh, actually old school Sesame Street on YouTube <laughs> and uh, listening to music. And uh, my uh, stuffed animals and my weighted blanket also. And uh, for the, the comic, I drew uh, it through uh, Big Bird throwing away all my uh, yardstick so I can finally stop uh, comparing myself to everybody else. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Uh, awesome. Um, Aaron, thanks so much for going long and thanks yeah. for doing this. And tell us again what of your books we should buy and where to buy them so everyone makes out for the best. Um, well, if you want to do more anxiety stuff, I have the Everybody Gets Anxious Activity book. This one's perfect for kids. It's middle grade, but I will tell you that my daughter loves it too. And she's just turned seven. So there's a lot of fun, anxiety busting activities in here. And then this is the one that we have for grownups, the big activity book for anxious people. Um, and you can learn all about why airplanes are safer than you think. Um, and then this is my 
my, um, this is my memoir. If you're interested in that, it has, it is not, it, it's not for children. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, and here I am not wearing pants on the cover as proof. Um, just in case you doubted that. My, um, my copy's in the mail and I'm sorry, I haven't read it yet. It's supposed to be great. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. Thank um, thanks so much for doing this. Everybody unmute yourself and thank Aaron. And then thank you. Over to thank the- you. Um, thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Please tag me on Instagram. I want to see everybody's art. Is, is it the 30 or the 27th? Is it the 30 or the 27th? Thank you. 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 Thank you.